Hey guys, it's Fen. Today I will talk about the field flow process in Java, and I'm going to code this right now. Um, if you have not watched the last video yet, you should stop watching this one right now and watch the last video, because this one is based on the last video and uh, you needed to understand this one. Um, I'm going to make it as quick as possible, but um, if you have any questions, just ask me in the comment section and uh, I'll answer them as quickly as possible. So the basic thing that our network does is calculating something by giving it some input and it returns uh, some output. Our input data and output data will be an array of double values and um, our, so our feed fault uh, method will look something like this. It returns the output and um, I'm just going to cal calculate and takes the um, um, array, the um, input array as uh, an argument. So the first thing that we have to check is if the input.lang so the amount of data that we got in our input array is not equal um, to the amount of neons that we got in the input layer. And the amount of input layer neons is equal to um, this dot input size. Um, if that's the case, we have to return null because we cannot do any calculations there because we got too much or too less data to calculate anything. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is we, um, we want to we want to set the um, output of our very very first layer, so our input layer, to the out uh, to the input. And um, I've talked about that in the very first video, I think. And um, yeah, th the first layer isn't really a layer; it's just some kind of a buffer to store the data. And um, this will look something like this: so this dot output at our first layer index is uh, zero is equal to the input, and that's everything we have to do with the first layer. The next thing is we want to iterate through every other layer and um, calculate their output by taking the output of the previous layer and their connected um, wakes. So for in layer equals one, so we are starting in the first layer, uh, the first hidden layer, and layer uh, will be less than the network size, so how many layers we got, and the layer will be increased by one each time. Next thing is we are going to iterate through every neon in that specific layer. So for int neon equals zero, uh, neon smaller than the uh, network layer sizes at the, at the layer. And um, the network layer sizes are the amount of um, neons that we got in any layer. So by um, asking for network layer sizes at layer, we're getting the amount of neons in our current layer. Um, and the neon is increased by one as well. Um, the next thing we do is, so we, we actually got a specific neon defined by the layer and the neon index. Um, and we we split the calculations for any neon into halves. The first thing was calculating the sum. The second one was acti uh, was applying the activation function. So let's start with the sum. Um, we need a new uh, value, so I'm just going to call it sum. In the last video we called it x, I think. Um, but I'm just going to use sum in this video. And um, we we got the um, sum uh, sign in our term, and this is equal to a, to a for loop where we increase the sum value by the thing behind uh, the um, I think it's called sigma, but I'm not sure about that. I, th I think the uh, sum value is sigma uh, behind the sigma, and um, yeah, like it, you you will just see what I mean. So for int um, pref neon, so we're going to iterate through every neon in the previous layer is equal to zero. Um, pref neon is smaller than the amount of neons in the previous layer, and this can be accessed by the network layer, so this is at layer minus one, so the previous layer, um, and previous neon is increased by one each time. Uh, the sum is then increased by the output of that neon, so the uh, output at our uh, previous layer, and this is accessed by the layer minus one, because the layer is the layer that we're currently working with, and minus one is just a previous layer, and the output of that neon is just um, the index as the index of the previous neon. And um, this is multiplied by the wake that connects the previous neon with the neon. And this is quite easy to access. We just have to write wakes at our layer, at our neon, at our previous neon, because that's how we defined our wakes array. Um, the next thing that we need is we have to implement the bias and we can just add the bias at the end. And um, the current bias that we're working with 
is uh, the bias at our layer, at our uh, specific neuron. Um, and this is it for the first half of our calculations. But you see that we, if we add the sum at the end, we could also add it at the beginning. And if we add it at the beginning, and the sum is equal to zero at the beginning, we could just remove this one here and um, set it as the initial value. So we can write like this. This is, um, should be kind of easy. Um, the next thing that we need is we need the activation function. And um, I'm just going to make it public. Um, I, I, I don't have to make it public. Pri private double sigmoid. Um, and it, it, yeah, it, so the return value, the double value, is um, the um, value that gives our, that the function gives us by giving it any um, x, x value. So it's the according y value. Um, and the x value is given as, an, as the argument. And we're just going to return 1d and uh, 1 plus math dot x to the negative x because that's just the function. But make sure that you write 1d. If you write 1, it calculates things in integer values and this obviously doesn't work. Um, the next thing that we want is we are going to set the output of our current neuron that we're working with at the layer at our neuron to the sigmoid function of our sum. And um, that's it for the feed forward process. The last thing that we want to do is we want to return the output of our network. And this can be done by just getting the output at our very at our last layer. And this is um, the network, the index of the network size minus one. And um, we we have to add minus one because our first layer's index is equal to zero, and the uh, Last index, so the index of our last layer, is equal to the um, array length minus one, and um, that's it for the calculate for the calculate method. But there's a slight problem. If we uh, run this right now, we can we can already um, I can already tell you the output because uh, the wakes array and the bias array has been initialized. Um, it has been initial initialized. But the initial values are zero. This means that if we run the sum, it will return zero um, because it doesn't matter what the input or the output of the previous layer is, because uh, the weights are zero, and this means that the sum will be zero. Same for the bias at the beginning, and the segment function of zero is equal to zero point five. So if this, if I did everything correct, uh, I should have um, zero point fives everywhere. So let's test this quickly. So double um, output is equal to net dot calculate, and I'm just going uh, to add any random values. But I have to make sure that um, I have the um, correct amount of uh, data. So we got four input neurons, and I got uh, four values. Um, they're in between zero and one right now, but that's not necessary. We could have negative val values. We could have um, values greater than one. It doesn't matter. Um, then uh, there's a useful method that Java um, gives us. It's called arrays.toString and it's um, capable of displaying any kind of string. Um, and I'm just going to use this for our purpose. And if I run this, this should hopefully work. And yes, it does. So our output of our network is um, our four 0.5s and that's exactly what we wanted, but that's not what we want at the end. So I'm going to fix this problem next video, and um, I hope to see you then. Okay.